Hi guys, this is Shuman from ASC Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix PCI bus driver issue in Windows 7. Very commonly, this may be caused by incorrectly configured device driver, old or outdated device driver software and also this problem may occur by hardware conflicts and when Windows recognizes a hardware that it's having some kind of unspecified problem. But don't worry, here's the solution for PCI bus device driver issue. And also this video will help you to fix some necessary device driver related issue. Well, let's get started. At first, connect your PC with the internet. Next go to device manager. Then you should see the message updating and installing device driver software. If the update process does not start automatically, then just click on scan for hardware changes. After that, you should see the message about updating and installing device driver software, as you can see. Now be patient for a while, do nothing. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help you to solve your problem. Note, sometimes this procedure may not work on some new generation computer. In that case, you need to install your device driver software manually. Alright, after completing the process, as you can see, status shows that your device is ready to use. Now let me show you. Yeah, as you can see, PCI bus device driver was successfully installed. As well, some necessary device driver softwares was successfully installed that are missing on our computer. Alright, now just restart once. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. At first open the browser. Next search for Intel PCI bus driver for Windows 7. Now just click on this second link, Intel chipset software installation utility. Then select download type drivers. Then select your operating system. Now just click on chipset INF utility. As you can see, this is the latest version. Alright, now just download this zip file. As you can see, it is supported for both OS. Next, accept the license terms to download. Next, extract this zip file. Next, open this folder. Next, click on setup chipset executable file. Next click on run, then click on next, next click on accept, next click on install and then yes. Next click on finish, now just restart once.
Now you should see the message, installing necessary device driver softwares that are missing on our computer. Now just click on restart now. After debuting, hopefully your problem will be solved. Now let me show you You are done as you can see We hope you will like Of course let us know your opinion If you have any questions then please let us know Please like, comment, share We need your support And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you Thanks for watching Have a nice day